What's up guys and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel and today in this video I'm talking about what everybody on the planet is talking about right now which is the Tiger King. This amazing seven part docuseries on Netflix has gripped the nation's and the world's attention as well as my attention. Really loved it, thought the characters were fascinating, just I, I, I can't, I couldn't stop thinking about it, thought it was thought it was so interesting and fascinating that I had to make a mathematical dedication to the show to obviously one of the most colorful characters and arguably the star of the series which is Joe Exotic. So uh, last Thursday I created this picture in Desmos and I did it using an actual photo that comes up the most frequently when, when you search for Joe Exotic. And so I made this from Desmos and I just wanted to kind of go through and explain briefly. It's a lot of work. It took me almost nine hours and you can see it's all these different functions and I encourage you guys at home right now even on spring break if you want to play around with Desmos it's an amazing way to be creative by using math and using art and understanding these functions on a deeper level. So for example, we can see like when I click on some of these, when I click on number one, right, you can see that this highlights. So this is just a simple line. So I got a lot of those. I also use a lot of parabolas and you can tell when you see the exponents that it's a quadratic. This is this function right here if I, if I zoom in a little bit on it. So here's that function that's being highlighted right there. It's that parabola and then I truncated it with the parameters of saying y can only go down to negative 5.1 down here and up to negative 3.6. So you can see I got a bunch of these like that. Uh, then if we kind of zoom out and we look at the face, you'll notice the eyes are different colors. Obviously those eyes are circles and the way I got those to fill in is I just created circles. This is a circle formula, right? x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Now normally be an equal sign. I chose a less than or equal to because then that shades it in, it fills in the interior, changes the color to blue and so on. Now it's easy to fill in stuff like that. It's a lot harder to fill in these different shapes. Like you can say, oh, I could fill in the hair. That's a lot more difficult because it's not one shape that I can just say less than or equal to. It's a bunch of shapes that make up uh, this. Now if you look at the eyebrows up here, right, I actually use square root functions that gives it that nice shape like that and then this the second part is this square root function. And again, it's a lot of trial and error and moving things around and, and mapping them out, but I, but it is helpful to have a knowledge of transformations knowing, hey, what does that 1.7 do? How does that 2.7 shift it? What does the 0.5 do in terms of stretching it or shrinking it, etc.? Another function type that I use is actually a sinusoidal function, the sine function, just to get that nice shape for the eye right there. Now, I'm sure there's other ways I could have done it, but I thought a sine function would be the easiest way to get that nice curvature and that nice shape of an eye. Finally, the bottom lettering, that's a lot simpler, except for the O where I used a circle or actually an ellipse. I was pretty much, and also for the C, I was pretty much using straight line functions and truncated parabolas. That's about it, Joe, if you're watching this, I hope you appreciate my math art. I really love the series, thought it was phenomenal. Uh, and if you guys want to know or see how I did it in more detail, see the formulas, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to provide these formulas. You can also check out a still shot of this artwork on my Instagram. Just go to Instagram and search for Scalar Learning. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Take it easy.